dangerous If you're one of us, then roll with us Cause we make the hipsters fall in love When we got our hot pants on and up And yes, of course we does We run in this town just like a club And no, you don't wanna mess with us Got Jesus on my necklace uh, Hi, uh, hi, welcome to our first ever <laughs> no. uh, in my mailbox um, we've decided to try and participate this month to see how or this week to see how it goes and see if you guys all like it and there's people here so they're going to be loud yes <laughs> so um, we have had a really good response um, from everybody's comments yeah. that um, we should start something like this so we're going to give it a shot and if our vlog doesn't get viewed, we're going to take it down and... I'm going to dump you. Yes. We're going to quit. <laughs> so, okay. First of all, um, didn't get very much <laughs> uh, in the mailbox, but uh, this is Voices of Dragons, and it is by Harper Teen, and Carrie Vaughn wrote it. I've never heard of it, but it sounds really good. So, uh, that's the one I got in the mail. This is from Disney, um, Red Moon Rising, um, Peter Moore. And I think it actually comes out. <laughs> um, it comes out, what, this month? The cover on that is actually kind of cool. And actually the trailer is really cool, too. This is Chasing Alley Cat. I got this for a blog tour uh, for the teen book scene. And it's a Rebecca Davis. <laughs> Glimpse um, by Stacey Wallace Benefil. Um I've already read this. Um, I received it about a week and a half ago. I got from Harlequin Teen. Actually, I think the cover is on here. It is called The Girl in the Steel Corset. And there's the... That's pretty. Yeah, I thought that was kind of cool looking. So that sounds kind of cool. Um, actually, I think Austin's going to review this book. It's called Kevin's Point Wait, of View. Wait, do it closer so you can see the picture. See the picture? Oh, nice. <laughs> I think it's really funny. Um, by gross. Del Shannon. And um, I have no idea what the book is about, but it looks like it might be funny. And I, you know, it's it's about a twelve year old boy, so maybe this is a good boy book that, you know, with probably pranks in it or something. I went out and bought a bunch of stuff from Borders, and I bought the hardcover of Graceling. I already have the paperback, but I had to get the hardback because I'm like that. Um, Dark Mirror. I received this. About two days ago, MJ Putney. I have no idea what it's about, but it looks good. I bought the Hourglass Door. This is actually a request from a parent for us to review it, so I went out and bought this at Borders with my gift card. I'm really excited about this. Kelly Keaton, Darkness Becomes Her. It's hardback. It's beautiful. It feels really nice. And... Um, it just looks bloody and gory, which is what I like, <laughs> and paranormal. So this is something I want to jump into quickly. And I also bought XVI, which is a dystopian, and it sounds really cool because um, it's short for 16, obviously. Roman numerals for 16, and not 16 girls um, have to get XVI on there wrist, and it means that they're 16 years old and they are fair game for for what? stuff <laughs> <laughs> um, and it sounds really cool so I actually a parent asked us to review that also So, but I wanted to read it anyway so I'm really excited about that one um, I bought Bellfire by Kate Tiernan <laughs> I know and um, I really loved Immortal Beloved so I'm going to give this a shot I just love her writing so um, that's three books in one right? yes or four books Yes, it's a thousand pages long, so <laughs> this, will be, this will take a while. Get done. Uh, from the library, I got The Demon King on Playaway, which if you don't know what a Playaway is, you're missing out. These things are really cool. You, um, They're like iPod books, mm -hmm. so you just put your headphones in or you plug it into your they're car, tiny. and they're really little. You can put them around your neck and listen to them when you're working out or whatever. Mm -hmm. The Demon King by Cinda Williams Chima, and that is a request from Livia, who wants me to read it so badly she can't stand it. I bought Red Riding Hood. It's about to be a movie, and um, I just 
like these kind of stories, so I want to see what it's about. And then the last one I got from the library was this, The Sky is Everywhere, and that's also a request from a parent, so I checked this one out, and I've heard really, really, really good things about this book. So this is from Jandy Nelson, and I'm excited to start that. I'm listening to this on audiobook. It's called The Fetch by Laura Whitcomb, and um, it's about, it's a love story. Um, he's Fetch, and he's basically a death escort. And he falls in love with the Romanovs back in Russia. Um, so was said a really long time ago. He falls in love with Nanny in glory. And so he wants to come on Earth and use somebody's body. You know, so she'll fall in love back. So we'll see. And I actually like the reader. Yes. Yes. He's good. Not Jim Dale, but good. And I got this from the library. Another Faust. Um, it's about a bunch of... Um, rich, snobby teenagers that go to boarding school. The, the sequel looks very, it's called Another Pan, mm -hmm. you know, and it just looks like it has potential, so. All right, that's it. So uh, if that was interesting to you, then let us know and we'll keep doing it. Uh, if not, let us know that too and we will stop. Yes. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. This is, oh, this is working very well. <laughs> Um, it's my turn. This one. <laughs>